All right, so in this video, I wanna show the process of taking a treadmill walk cycle and translating it forward in 3D space. So I actually made this exact same tutorial inside of Maya, but I've gotten quite a few comments and questions on how to actually do this inside of Blender. And it's basically the exact same process that I did in Maya, but I'll go ahead and make a quick video on it here, just showing basically how to do it inside of Blender. So we've got this treadmill walk cycle here, and this is using the uh, Lisa rig from iAnimate. So this is the basic walk cycle that we have. So now we basically just need to get this translated forward in 3D space. So the way we're gonna do that is with this main root control or this sort of master control down here at the bottom. This is where we're gonna actually add that forward movement. Now the first thing that we wanna make sure that we have is if we select our feet, the forward back translation, which on this is the translate Y. We wanna make sure that that is a completely linear transition. There's no slow in or slow out as the foot is actually traveling on the ground. Same thing for this one. We just need to double check, make sure that once it plants and starts to move back, it's moving in a completely linear straight line. So that's, that's all working great. So the only thing that we need to do now is select one of the feet here and I'll select this right foot. And what I wanna do is select both of these keyframes right here. So the keyframe on zero and the keyframe on frame 18. I have both of those selected. I'm gonna to go to key in the graph editor here and I'm gonna choose copy keyframes. Then I'm going to select my main master control here or the root control. I'm gonna to go to the Y location on the graph editor here. I'm gonna select that first keyframe and then I'm just gonna to go to key and then choose paste keyframes. So now we've basically just pasted that movement of the foot onto the, the root control. So now the root control is moving backwards at the exact same rate that the foot is moving backwards. But what we wanna actually do is flip this so that the, the root control is moving forward at the exact same rate the foot is moving backward. That way we get the foot actually locked in space. So with both of these keyframes selected, I'm gonna press S and then Y to scale. And then I'm gonna just type in a value of negative one to basically just flip that curve because we need to make sure this is going in the opposite direction. And now you can see as soon as we do that, this foot is staying nice and locked on the ground. So the only thing that we need to do now is make sure that this curve is just continuing here. So you can see that once it goes to frame 18, it stops, and then obviously we get that treadmill walk cycle again. So what I wanna do is select this curve, press N on my keyboard to open up this side panel inside of Blender, and I'm gonna to go to the Add Modifier, I'm gonna choose Cycles, and then under Repeat Motion, I wanna do Repeat with Offset, and then the After Mode, set that to Repeat with Offset, just so we get this nice linear straight line, basically traveling for infinity. So now if we play this, we get this walk cycle actually translating forward in 3D space. So that's all you need to do to actually get your walk cycle moving. The most important thing is making sure that your feet are traveling completely linearly. There's no forward or backward movement. And then all you need to do is just paste the value of that foot control onto the master control, reverse it, and then just cycle it. And that's, and that's really it. So it's the same process as inside of Maya, but the way we do it inside of the graph editor is a little bit different. So Hopefully you found this helpful and don't forget to like and subscribe.